Hey guys, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Last time we had just finally made our way into the Twin Elms and we're at some kind of village called Half Song. Gotta make sure I don't call Silence it Half Song again. Me. Oh. Of course. Alright, well. Search Twin Elms for the sign of fails. Emstra still. What the fuck? Emstra? Hail, Estramore. Estramore. Another fugitive from the burning city. Holy shit. The six tribes of Ir Galgraf welcome you to Twin Elms. Before you lies the Half Song district. You are free to explore it, but do not let your feet stray into the other districts. Those are forbidden to Estramamurus. Estramamurus? What can you tell me? Why is it forbidden? Terms is a sacred city built where the first keepers of the stone met the builders. It is alongside the works of the builders, and it is the only place in all of Ear Glanf. Glanf. Glanf? I think. Glanf. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go with Glanf. Where it is permitted to set foot among these sacred places. The astronomer, however, do have the proper respect for the stones here. His words trigger something in your memory. You see an image of a perfect cube of Adria. Just as quickly the image fades. A leader of one of the tribes could give you permission of the city. Only Amalwafuf Belrilith is present in the passage of the six today, and she has her own troubles. Okay. I haven't heard of the keepers of the stone. The oldest of the six tribes. Up up the stairs and into the passage of the six this is where uh Am Ambaf gather. Bewef the Amuraf. My god, these words of the Gilded Co Compass can tell you more. Oh, really? Did we come across that woman? That person? I don't know. And who are the builders? You know them, these in Griffins. There you go, there's a word I can say. To us, they are the builders, creators of sacred places that we guard to this day. And what can you tell me? Uh, yep, some crap. Oh my good lord. No, we don't need no infest. I'll keep your words in mind. I'll keep them in mind, but I shall not. Alright, what do we gotta do here? Where's my god? What the hell are we? We're searching for the sign of fails. Alright. This is where the famous hunters of Air Glanfoth dwell? Glanfoth. I was close. Glanf. Glanfoth. Looks like the fucking Shire out of uh, Lord of the Rings or something. What's all these, these panthers? Estelgalala. Man, these are crazy people. Alright. What is this over here? I'm stealing it. Boom. Dry cap. Nice. Alright, I think they say... Uh, did they say we're gonna go in here? What's this? Let's have a look. Ah, now we got something. The Passage of Six. The Market. Ooh, a market. Nice. Some kind of home. Old Song District. Another home. And the Builder's Hearth. Another home. A celestial Sapling. And these are to the other districts. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I need to go back to my guys. There we go. Alright, let's end this place. See what the hell. See if we can get some... What the fuck? Is that a... It... It's another... What's it called? Godlike person. Nice. Alright, just son of a bitches. Tribes people. Load of altars. Yes, I am sure the Amphoroth will not commune to get together f for a season. What the fuck? Anybody in this place? Uh -huh. Oh, shit. What are we done? Mito, good. Good friend. Another Estramore. What do you want? Sagnia. Careful! This woman's young for an elder and looking to prove herself, I think. Uh, I want to visit the this. I'm looking for another who passed through this city. Oh, shit. Here we go. Uh, yeah, let's give it that one. Few Estramoran are given the freedom of our sacred city. That you ask for this person is suspicious. There are reasons we don't let you Estramoran roam our sacred city. Reasons I am coming to understand. Okay, so something happened recently. Whatever these reasons are, they've got nothing to do with me. You must let me through. I have urgent matters to attend elsewhere in Twin Elms. Well, I don't think they're going to go with that. Perhaps we can work out a region. I do not wish to cause a stir. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see if we can make an arrangement. I'm all about, okay, I'm all about doing a bit of work. That's fine. 
I'm afraid not. Looters have grown bolder God at the it. sights of the builders. The people of Defiance Bay set fire to their own city. And every week, the three Tusk Stelgar bring news of more desperate settlers pushing at our borders, trying to escape their plague of an old fane children. Holy shit. Whoa, suddenly you feel the presence of someone else in the hall. The Emma Faith continues to, t to glare at you, but something has stepped out of her skin. It reaches out to you. Permitting more strangers what the, the freedom of the city is out of the question right now. Go and be thankful that Anamthoth Shemak doesn't sit in the passage of the Six today. He would not be so kind as I. What the hell? Whoa. Oh my god, look at all these. Oh shit. Felwet. A vision of an olden man appears near Bilwath. He has seen the same green brow fur and hazel, hazel eyes as she does. Help me reason with them. He points behind you. Turning, turning, you see the ghostly shapes of Fivo Amanfar, another Orlin with tawny fur and a scarred face, a frowning dwarf, a black furred Orlin, and two elves. Uh, okay, so we don't have Lord Tam, we don't have Obsession 14, so who's that other Orlin? He looks just like you. Is this your idea of a joke? You kind of no sense of subtlety. Uh, okay. The spectral Orlin's takes another step from her, setting his foot down with a slow, heavy motion, trendles of essence strain between them, and he grimaces and leans forward as if struggling against a gale. The angry Amamphar winces. War. The, s <laughs> the spectral Orlin's voice is a raspy croak. They're, they're the for war. Remind them of Fernwood's Fern warning. Does Fernwood's warning mean anything to you? I have seen the soul of an old Orlin from fur. Your eyes hurrying right next to you. You're headed for war. All right, say that. <clears throat> Fermin's soul image gasps. Twelve threads of essence tug at him, drawing him back into the Amphire. He looks up at you, at you again. I tried to tell them. The builder's souls have touched even the Amphire. You'd better explain yourself. The builder's souls have <coughs> touched the Ember Whatever that says. <laughs> this. Oh, oh, do you know who he is? Let's just pretend we're like psychic and we know stuff. Uh oh. There's no way you could have known this saying. Not unless Boom. you are a galoose on Anums, a watcher of souls. Blammo. Fairly tried to warn the other tribes about something. What was it? Feralt's warning came before the Broken Stone War. Feralt, my ancestor on my mother's side, was Anamfath of our tribe then. When the Estramoric farmers defiled the builders' monuments, Feralt urged the other Anamfatha to patience. But louder, angrier voices prevailed. Was it fails? Feralt believed that the invaders could be taught to respect the builders as we do. He also believed the builders' souls had spread to all peoples, and that we should avoid needless conflict with others. More practically, he worried that a violent response would only spur further bloodshed across the generations, and you can see where we are today. Holy shit. After two wars with the dire wood, his one is more relevant than ever. At least you don't have the Hallowborn to deal with. Maybe you're better off than before. Perhaps the problem is that you weren't firm enough. I, I have no idea what the hell's going on, if I'm honest with you. But let's go with this. While Feralt's words were shrewd, they were ignored back then. Simply remembering his warning now will not undo the wars and the changes that the years have seen. There is blood on these stones, and that is all anyone remembers now. Damn. Oh my god, back again. An image of the polished Adria Cube flashed into your mind. Ah uh, yes, that's what we saw earlier. There is a writing on the sides, but the image is too faint for you to read. The Amamphar turns away from you and looks at the ground, gnawing a pointed claw. What the fuck? Can't change the past, but your choices now still matter. So, give them something else to remember. Sounds like you got your own problems. Let's go with this. 
Yes, that is the problem. Another Estramore came through oh. here a few days ago and, well, letting him through was a mistake. One I am eager not to repeat. Oh, man, you the don't Guided Compass this. tribe has a reputation for being too soft with Estramorin. One that will not be improved by my failure to stop this man who has desecrated our most sacred sites. That sounds like the man I came here to stop. Maybe I could help. Then now's the time to fix things. I know nothing of this man. What? What's the harm in letting me through? Hmm. Let's just be honest. I won't repeat a mistake in my haste to correct it. We bar twin elms from Estramorin to protect the ancient places that the builders left behind. The builders left this heritage to us to defend, but they alone had access to it. On this much, at least the six tribes agree. God damn it. Come on. Just let me feel, woman. Oh my god. See the stone Ajax cornerstone in your mind. This time the image is clear. Each face of the stone is inscribed with a phase you know by heart. Oh, well. You feel your lips form the words. A gift from the builders of civilization to the guardians of their legacy. May the guardians watch the door while the builders keep the key. Holy shit. These were the words given to the keepers of the stone. Yeah, I know. Very well. The city is yours to explore. Boom. Tell the guard at the gate that you come to see the cornerstone with the blessing of the guided compass. If the gods have truly returned one of the builders to us, find the Delamgon of Ter Evron in Elm's Reach. The what? If the gods have sent you here with a purpose, the Delamgon will know. What god? I'm the god around here. Nate's feel. In the meantime, I shall be here to assist you. Uh, no. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. All right. What we got? Speak to the Delaman. At whatever she said last said. Is there anything we can loot around here? Uh, no. Apparently not. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Where are we gotta go? I can't even remember now. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Speak to at uh, Elms Elms Reach. Elm's Reach. Old song. Elm's Reach. This is where we gotta go. I, I'm tempted to go to this market though first, actually. We're going to the market, goddammit. I wanna buy some new stuff. There's gotta be some better weapons and stuff, like. Who's this guy? Oh man, this is somebody we can reach out to, it seems. The rains have run their course and trader has returned. Excellent! Who's this guy? Oh, it's just a potato. Ooh! Oh, goddammit, steal. Alright, where's the trader? No. No. What the hell? What do you mean there's no trader? Defines bit. Here we go. What's this guy? Extra you. More. Let me see your wares. Ah, excellent. Okay, I'm going to look through some of this stuff and try and get myself some better armor and better weapons. Alright, we're back. We're just about to head into the, uh... Where is it heading into? Uh, the... The Elm's Perth, or whatever it's called. Is it a place? Uh, tch, tch, tch. Doesn't answer me. Uh, I couldn't see the cornerstone. Blessed by... Yeah. Always too cozy with the Emma's Show. Go then! I might just step around the sacred stones. Uh, what's this place? Elm's Reach, yeah. We're going to Elm's Reach. Just like Elm's Deep. No, oh, maybe not. Alright, let's go. Oh, shit, we could go to the old song from here as well. That's a big wolf head. That's so cool. Alright, let's go. It's gonna take us an hour just to get there. All right, what's this place all about? Where are you, fair? She's son of whoa. This place is pretty cool. Hall of Warriors, the Golden Grove, the Twin Elms. Aha! This is where we need to be. What's this? Just home, home, a song district. All right, let's move on up. Don't mind me, you just passed through. Dark Omen. Even Deliman could not stop him. Oh god, it's fucking fair. Whoa, what's that? Good job, good job, Slough. So we need. Oh, what's this? Lots of stuff to pick up. What the hell? Oh, no, steal them again, steal off these people. They'll just get mad, start killing me and stuff. Holy shit, these bridge. Oh, oh, oh no, it's him. Oh, it's this ghost form. It's okay. 
You have stayed true to our cause, Inquisitor, when so many others have not. For every heretic we confess, for every betrayer that burns on our pyres, new sheep continue to flock to Ivara Exensios. But not you. I underestimated you in the beginning, but no longer. What the hell, Grand Inquisitor? It's not on? for honor that I summoned you today, but for duty. Too many of our own have confessed upon the wheel and the rack and the flame. My Too many of our faithful have had their minds poisoned by the Kratom Witch. The tide is against us now. Holy shit. We have but one option. Ivara's following must see her exposed for what she is. She must confess her heresy before my court. How would we reach her? Not in Kratom, surely. Their lord has embraced her heathen faith and protects her with his army. But in Osionis, things would be different. The king of Osionis is a sinful man. We have helped him to see the error of his ways, and now he fears for his soul. He would pay any price for absolution. Oh, damn. But how do we get Alvara to move to Oncinius? You have already done much for the Inquisition. I wouldn't ask this were there any other choice. What the hell? Damn. Some crazy shit going on. Who is this witch? Alright, this is where we gotta go. We're, oh shit, what's going on? Oh! Tree people! Two identical women seem to fade into view as they move away from the great tree that camouflages them. Their skin is tree bark. Rigid and scary. Reef in the curly tangle of roots, buds, and blossoms. Alright. Turn around, flesh creature. Whoa. Outsiders are not permitted to approach the elms. That's where I gotta go. Do you not feel it, sister? Something familiar. An ancient soul, like the other one. Another defiler, no doubt. Let us fell him and be troubled no more. It would pay the debt of his predecessor. Whoa! Chill! I come to kill that guy. Hmm, so it would seem, Rhiannon. But Rhiannon. we must not hasten to judgment. I see a different motive here. Different questions in these eyes. What of it, young trespasser? Is it as my sister says? Or are you here to stain this place with foul deeds? Um, I seek a man who came through here. It sounds as though you've already met him. I heard there was a commotion here and I came to investigate. My business concerns the health of this land. You would be wise to aid me. I have forgotten my purpose in the presence of such legendary beauty. Have I begun to halluc hallucinating in double? <laughs> I'd gladly burn this place down, but I have more pressing mat concerns. Holy shit. Alright, let's go diplomatic. I like to go diplomatic. I mean, honesty will get us there probably, but if we can get like some kind of buff or like blessing, that'd be friggin' awesome. That may be, flesh creature. But I do wonder whether your intentions are quite so noble as that. Are you here for the land? Or for you? He is here for Theos Exarchanon. That much is evident. Oh man. Don't 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 say that guy's name in front of me. I'm the kill answer that son of a bitch. Yes, old one. We crossed paths with Theos not long ago, and we can tell you where he went. But I find it curious that anyone would seek him out. Suspicious even. If we are to help you find him. We would know why. I have a problem. Is there anyone who can fix it? Stop him. Him might end Wyden's legacy. We must face... He must face justice for his transgressions. He crossed me. I intend to get revenge. We seem to be linked. I, I need to know why. I don't fully know myself. My reasons are my concern. It has nothing to do with you. Hmm... It would end the legacy, which is Halibone Children. Is that good for the land, though? More, you like more Keef running around? That's the this. Mm, let's go with this one. So that is the reason he passed this way. This is low, even for the leaden key. Indeed, help me now. I told you we should have confronted him, Sheeta. He has always Shida. been a poison. Yeah. It would have been the last thing we ever did, sister. Who can be said to have ever gotten the better of Theos? Well, you look at him right now. Well, I haven't got the better of him yet, but that's the, yes, that's the plan. Yes, but imagine how much fun it would have been. Can't you just picture him all strung up in vines like an angry little puppet? 
Well, but that's not what this is really about, is it? You are bound to that man. Uh -oh. I see it now. You are awakened. Your soul is awake and something once buried deep now wells to the surface. Past overwhelms present, closes in around you. Your time has nearly reached its end. No! Hello, I don't die. I am sorry Please. to tell you this, but Theos cannot give you what you seek. Nor can any man. An awakening cannot be undone any more than your past can be undone. You sons of bitches. Let me through, goddammit. So this has all been for nothing. And I'm going to lose my mind. The soul is formless without a past to shape it. Did you truly expect to be able to wipe it away? No, but I'd hope it would be something I could forget. I'd rather, I'd rather have tried to put things right. I would live with it if I could. That or kill the man who brought it up. I had to believe in something. I didn't have a choice. Um. Oh, so many options. Let's go with... I won't do that. Put things right. A noble thought, but for the lifetimes that separate you from your problems. However, as much as my sister speaks truly that there is no way back from an awakening, there may yet be a way forward. Would you agree, Shiva? I Ooh. would. Were the way not so likely to end in death? Death may be preferable to what lies in store for me. Well, yeah, let's go with that. It may, but not all deaths are alike. And the from. man you pursue is versed in thousands of them. The man Theos, you must already know by now. You are linked by a common past. Something about it lingers within you, festering, unresolved. What it is, I cannot see any more than you. And without that knowledge, your doom is certain. <laughs> but were you Why? to learn the source of this discord, perhaps it could be put to rest. Though it is equally possible it will trouble you as much now as it did then, and merely speed your condition to its end. My past comes to me in pieces. How do I unlock the rest? You might wait for it to come on its own, of course. But when it comes, it will replace your sanity's last breath. Such is the nature of your condition. God or damn it. you could learn it from someone who already knows. Theos would remember. It is said the gods made his memory perfect. That he may never forget his charge. If he ever knew, he still does. That son of a bitch. Not that he would tell you, of course. I'll beat it out of him. You have followed the right person for the wrong reason, it seems. We see it often beneath the elms. The soul dragging mind and body to unknown places for unfathomable reasons. You may have wandered into Theos' path many times, in many lifetimes, without an awakening to show you why. The only the thing hell? that's certain is you did not find what you sought. You said you know where he went. He has gone down beneath the tower to a place older than we, where the people of Engwith once walked. He makes his way to the buried city, Sun and Shadow. Holy shit. May he stay down there and rot with the remains of his people. I don't think that's his plan. He yet. He won't be returning the way he came, that much is certain. He opened a secret path in the tower's base and saw it destroyed behind him through some vile means. What the hell? We know of one. On the burial aisle, through the court of the penitents, Brayeth Yaman. A shortcut, in fact. Boom. That's what Don't we need. Don't be cruel, sister. What? The way my sister speaks of is not for the faint of heart. A great pit at the center of a forgotten court, where faiths were judged in place of crimes. To most, it is simply a gateway to death. With the help of the gods, it can take you where you want to go. There we go. Uh, I have to jump into a pit. Is this some kind of trick? What is this court? The help of the, the what pit do you mean? Is said to have been a means of judgment by the gods. Those cast into it are meant to die. It is that way you must pass to reach sun and shadow. The court is old. We do not know much for certain, but it would seem only the gods themselves can grant passage. 
What is this called? Than a ruin now. It is older than we. A place for the trial of heretics. We were not here to witness it. But at one time there was a group that refused to acknowledge the gods. Neither the first nor the last, of course. But these were numerous and all put on trial for it. Those who did not repent were cast into the pit and imprisoned below. Damn. The fall killed them, of course. The prison was not for people, but for their souls. And their sentences were eternal. It is said that many of the condemned repented and were permitted by the gods to ascend from the pit, so long as they pledged their service to one of them. But these are old legends. Holy shit, so he's gone down there to get him to pledge to him and his god. And he's gonna bring an army! God damn. Behind us is Ter Evron, said to pierce the shroud itself. Holy shit, these guys just go on and on. All gods. If ever there was a time for prayer, you have found it. Boom. So no way to get through this pit is to pray for help. Who would I pray to? Is there any other way? How do I pray? I have other questions. Uh, who should I pray to? Any god? I would I pray first to those gods you like best. I, I don't I know. For your sake, the feeling is shared. All right. So the only way is this. The only way. Just the only one that doesn't end with your body impaled on jagged rocks. Holy shit. Is there any other None. way? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. How do I pray? Evron is also called the Hall of Stars, and the stars show us the allegiances of the gods. When stars are in conjunction, we know the gods they represent are aligned as well. You should choose a place to pray where you'll be closest to those you want to hear you. If a god stands alone, you should pray to that god. If they band together, you should address them all. Choose your words wisely, for all gods expect proper homage. And none has patience for fools. Jesus Christ. Uh, I have what a do question. You to know? How did you know so, uh, mention that people come to us? I don't know why. I don't know about you two. Alright. Before you go, I'm, tell oh, for me God's this, sake. old one. I'm curious. If you were to subdue your enemy, what would you do with him? What would give you peace? I would take him and we would torture him. For an eternity! <laughs> I don't know why I would do, why I would do that. I mean, I feel like he's, he's, he's wrong me in some way. Uh, I won't know until I get there. I need to understand our history so it may be put to rest. Nothing more! He must be destroyed. I'd return him to the wheel of life and death so he may trouble me no more. I wish to undo the harm he's caused. I would set him on a better path. <laughs> you are now a changed man, Fierce. Please go. You've been doing this for many millennia, but now you have I have changed you for the better. I will take his place and the power for myself. Whoa, Jesus Christ, mate. Will we do that? No, that sounds a bit selfish. Uh, let's see, go with the, uh, we'll, we'll undo the harm he's caused. You would need to have twice as many lifetimes as he to repair his savage work. But perhaps there are strides you can All make. All the same. Think on this matter. Be assured in your course. In the end, it may mean all the difference, not just to his soul, but to yours. Holy shit. Warned, ah. Some questions have answers that can never be learned. And it is those that trouble the soul above all others. May you find an answer to yours. Jesus, holy Christ. That was crazy. We finally got that. Where'd they run off to? Holy crap. Feels leveled up. We'll do that next time. Oh, what's going on now? Pray to some gods. A random warrior ran out from nowhere. What? Jesus, all these quests. Court of the Penance. Something's happened at the... What's this? The Nightmare added. The quest that expires in three days. Okay. Don't know what that is. But we're going to leave it there today. Those those goddamn tree women. They were going on and on and on. Stretch this out. Longer than it should have. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think. And if this is your first time here... Please subscribe, I'd love to have you join us. Until next time guys, see ya!